What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. All right, all right, all right. I don't know. We just had a little setback. But the question here is, are the city girls over? Are the city girls over? Hey, everybody coming in. Yo, Miami has finally announced, officially announced that she's pregnant. JT is in jail. And she has another year. So basically, your Miami has another 9 to 10 months. They just got hot off of ACT UP. The question here is, are the city girls over? Are they over? Hey, everybody coming in. I'm going to need y'all to answer this question for me. Are the city girls over? Now, a lot of people were saying before that they thought um, your Miami was pregnant, but she was denying it the same way that Cardi was denying that she was pregnant. And basically, she wrote a statement on her Instagram saying, you know, that she just wanted a little privacy and she was going to announce it when she was ready to announce it. Hey, everybody coming in. So, um, your Miami posted this to her Instagram. She says, I've been going back and forth to share this moment with my fans, but on my terms, I want this journey to be nothing but positive going forward. And I wanted to share this with y'all. No one knows what is best for me but God. And this was just his timing for me. Everybody doubted me and said I shouldn't be rapping. And that I wouldn't be able to hold a group down while JT was away. But I, did, but I did just that and then some to the point that you all have made this experience as a rapper so fulfilling that I cannot wait to show more of what I really have in store for my fans. I did everything they said I couldn't because that's just the type of woman I am and going to continue to be. Pregnancy is a beautiful thing and life changing so I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for the city girls. This is my personal life and it is what it is period. Yo Miami. So, there you have it. That's her official statement about her being pregnant. Um, of course, like I said, people have been saying this basically for a few months that she was pregnant, but she denied it. Um, I think it was probably hard for her to come out and say that she was pregnant just because of the fact that JT is still locked up. They were trying to get her out, but she won't be released until next year, 2020, around about April or whatever time. So, I guess, you know, she was embarrassed about the whole situation. Why did she lie? I guess she was just trying to figure out which way she was going to take it. Act Up had just blew up. I'm pretty sure Act Up literally blew up at the exact same time she probably got pregnant. It blew up. Everything was blowing up. JT just went to jail. So, it was. I guess it was hard on her just the same way it was hard on JT. Being, JT did some scams. She, thought she stole some people's credit cards. <laughs> somebody said she said period so much she missed hers but i like you in miami for what she's been showing us she seems to be a regular even though if you i don't know if y'all have watched the documentary that they have i love watching documentaries basically your miami was just following along with jt jt is really the real rapper in the group hey on site april how you doing jt is really the real rapper in the group and that's the one that's locked up Yo, know, my image just was basically JT's friend. She just along for the ride. She just want to have fun and party. So with JT getting locked up, as soon as they hit the charts, that's when JT got locked up. So then everything was on Yo, Miami. Of course, she going to feel some type of way because in her mind, even out of her mouth, she said herself, she didn't consider herself a real rapper. JT was the real rapper. So when she got pregnant, of course, she was, I guess she was just feeling bad about it. Not bad, but, you know, well, dang, JT locked up and here I am pregnant. So I guess she was afraid that the group was going to get messed up. Hey, Miss Rosario, what I think about it? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know Pete is the CEO, and he he's also they also manage Cardi. They also, um, Lil Yachty is on the label. Um, the Migos is on the label. So by with JT being gone, and she'll be out next year, and she'll be dropped the baby next year. By the time she recover, it'll be the same time that JT will be getting out. So I think this was a perfect thing to happen, to be honest. I think this was a perfect thing. Hey, um, Miss Fazaro, I think this is a perfect thing, to be honest. It just, it the timing will be right. Because she's, do, she's doing really good holding the group down. But at the same time, you could tell that she was running out of steam being by herself. No, I don't think. No, she has a boyfriend. She has a boyfriend. A very popular boy. I can't think of what his name is, but he's like a producer, or either a rapper or something, child. But now, I heard they said that the boyfriend had seven kids, and I don't know how true that is, so don't don't, don't quote me on that. Right, exactly. 
<laughs> exactly, S. Greenwood. No, we're just talking about my, you and Miami being pregnant. I, I just want to know, do y'all think the group is over? I don't. I feel bad for them because, like I said, JT went up the road as soon as they got unpopular and then went act up. Shout out. That must be at the same exact time that she got pregnant. So I'm just wondering, you know, what's going on? Yes, on site April. That's what they're saying. Look, him got a new show on VH1. Okay. Let me add, His name is Southside. Hey, Cassandra, how you doing? No, she got one kid and she pregnant now, so yeah. His name is Southside. Now, I'm glad y'all brought that up in the chat. Southside is the same one that when she was getting into it with Jocelyn, he said that, you know, he'll, he'll bop both of them. He'll bop Jocelyn and um uh, Hazel when he see them. His name is Southside. They still got a chance. I honestly think this is very perfect for them because Young Miami was running out of steam. It's like, what can you do? You can't make any new songs because she's gone it doesn't look like they're gonna they're gonna let her out like they literally were offering people a million dollars to let jt out like p he's the uh the the uh, ceo of qc and he was literally offering people a million dollars to let jt out and they didn't so you think about that they're not letting jt out till next year they don't have any new songs they can't record any new songs of course they can bring out some of the old stuff but is it gonna work is it going to work? So basically, with her having a year left and young Miami still got some months to go and she got to take a couple months to recover, the timing is just perfect, to be honest. I hate to say it like that, but it is. Right. Lucinda says, I agree you. She was doing all the interviews and appearances like uh, by herself. Right. She was. She was doing everything by herself. And I know she was running out of steam. She going to be on Love and Hip Hop now. No, I think she can do a little bit better than that. <laughs> I think she can do a little bit better than that. You say, so she just having a baby without him being her man. As far as I know, they go together. I mean, but, you know, what does going together th these days and times really mean? You say, JT in jail for fraud. I guess they really live with a rap, huh? Well, basically, she, would care she was carrying the clip by herself. She did a good job. She did a good job. Miss Rizal said, I bet Cardi B told her to do that. I'm not going to say they did it on purpose. I'm not going to say Q, I mean, uh, P told her to do it. But <laughs> what else could they do? I mean, it's honest. Hey, Paco, how you doing? It's, it's honestly, what else could they do? What else could they do? Jessica says, before all that popped off, y'all, my Emmy said at an interview, her boyfriend is the type that would fight female about her, right? Um, Hey, Tahili, how you doing? I ain't seen you in a while. You said, wow, I caught you live since it's been a while. It has been a while. How you doing? Um, Aaliyah says they just dropped a track with Lennon on the track and Juvenile is called Throw Fits. I mean, you know, Paco says she should have kept her legs closed. But this is what I'm saying. Um, the reason that everybody knew, well, people were already saying it because you could see it. You could see it. It was obvious that she was. But then on some videos and some pictures, she looks very small. And then on other videos and pictures, she looks kind of big. So she was denying it for a while. And I just lost my train of thought of what I was getting ready to say. What was I getting ready to say? Until I remember, I just jumped back in the comments. You say, why you can't see your name? I can see your name. It says, I love us. Southside, the producer, right? Lord, clutch my pearls, right? Hey, everybody coming in. First, love your work since asking you to stop saying girl in the beginning. <laughs> you say you asked me to stop saying girl in the beginning. Y'all be killing me with them kind of type of comments. Um, She's going to be just fine. I had no idea she was pregnant. She's pregnant by Southside. She's pregnant by Southside. You say, Lord, let me clutch my magnums. <laughs> it's her life and people got the right to support who they want. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, Ashanti, how you doing? How old is my Amy? I think she's 24, 24, 23, 24, 25. One of those. One of those. But if they planned it, they did a good job. If they planned it, honestly, I hate to say it like that because, you know, it is, but it is what it is. I, there honestly was nothing else that they could do because, like I said, she was holding everything down by herself, and she, she's admitted out of her own mouth, JT is the real rapper. JT was the one that really wanted to be a real rap group. All you and Miami wanted to do was um, would just really go out and party and hang out with JT. So whatever JT was doing, that's what she was doing. But she didn't want to do it, and she made it be known. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get in other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.